Hey guys, welcome back. It's Green Reaper coming at you for another video for Ray Shadows. Hopefully, you're doing well and having a great start to the week. Uh, C vs C going on. Uh, hopefully, you guys are winning your C vs C, the best content in Ray Shadow Legends. Uh, it's what we all look forward to, right? Uh, quite a busy week with the Harmony events and stuff like that. Pretty sure it's going to carry on being a busy week next week as well uh with uh probably the fusion i'd expect i personally expect to have the fusion news out on friday i hope not i would like a week off events and stuff but yeah let me know down in comments down below if this is like what you kind of like being busy or stuff like that or do you feel like you need that break and stuff like that anyway let's get into today's video today is a champion showcase this is going to be a crazy one but recently pulled a mythical I'm not going to try and pronounce his name because we all know that reading is not my strongest skill uh, and stuff like that. So I want to kind of go over his kit and uh, today is a play test with him, right? He's my first mythical on my, on my account. Okay, so um, he's fully booked to my street already. I'll show you the build and stuff and I'll leave um, pins. So if you pins in, a, in the comments down below, so you guys can skip this if you already know his kit. But he'll attack one enemy two times. First hit will transfer all buffs from his champion to a target. Then a second hit will then increase the duration of all buffs on a target by one turn. Uh, this is one buck per damage, so you could skip to put this. This is generally a quite a good A1 because it's a double hitter. So that's quite good against Rodas, which is quite meta uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, I kind of like that A1. Um, then he has a AOE, so it attacks all enemies. Each uh, critical hit fills this target's turn meter by 25%. Uh, resets the cooldown of the A3 uh, skill if this uh, attacks kills an enemy. Then resets the cooldown of all this champion's um, skills if this champion kills two or more allies. I have uh, done a little bit of testing already. This is a pretty cool ability. Uh, attacks one enemy. Will attack all remaining enemies with a surplus damage and an initial target is killed, then fully heals the champion if this initial hit kills an enemy. So, not a lot of box as well, as you can see, has a nice passive as well. I'm not going to go into that transform because that's a transform. Actually, I do want to talk about a little bit of the, something of like that. So, this, uh, if this champion is about to kill a get killed by a fatal hit will block incoming damage and place block buffs. So this will work against Rose A3 and stuff like that um, on this uh, champion for one turn. Then heal this champion by 50% of their max HP and fill their turn meter by 100%. Uh, that is a crazy passive, to be honest. Um, so this is where I think where, where I was reading this kit earlier, it kind of lets itself down, actually. Uh, transform this champion into the altar to firm uh whenever their last in, their last living ally is killed so basically i from my understanding of this and we go test this out is if everyone has died on my team then we're able to transform which is a sucker really it really does suck uh to not be able to metamorph whenever you want so apparently yeah it's it's not great uh, attacks all enemies. Uh, sorry, uh, the attack is good 1600, speed is really good, critical damage 63, reasonable, and then uh, yeah, stats are quite good. Second form looks absolutely incredible. Uh, but again, he can only use this right when he's the last enemy. So, attacks all enemies, heals all allies with 20% of the damage inflicted. Uh, his stats incredibly drop by the way for attack and stuff like that. So you're going to do incredibly loss, less damage. Uh, removes all debuffs from all allies. Then heals all allies by 30% of the max HP. Places block debuffs on them for two turns. Then revives all dead allies with 50% HP and turn meter. Then places block damage buff on all allies. Except this champion for one turn. This is on a four turn cooldown. Uh, transform to... Um... And then decreases the damage by all abilities. Honestly, if he can metamorph between these two abilities, his value, his surge, increases. Like, this is a really cool ability. 
and a really cool second kit if he's able to do it. But the problem is, it has to be the last ally. And that, for me, is the bomber in his kit. Because no other mythical has that problem. Anyway, let's go take him in the arena. So before we take him in the arena, let's go and take him in to dragons. Let's see his multipliers. If I don't want to see on uh, like what's going on on his multipliers, so we got our AWP, our attack up. We have uh, um, we have Lydia for the defense down and weaken, and Bad Alf to receive uh, to increase our damage. So uh, I just want to see what his multipliers are all about and stuff like that. I've been really looking forward to, to doing this showcase, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. He is my first legendary, uh, so I'm uh, mythical. So, yeah, like I'm really hoping that this can do something. Anyway, let's do his AoE first to see if we can kill. We pretty much had defense down and um, defense down a week on and everyone and poisons. So I just want to see his multipliers. So like 120 to 185. I feel that's pretty average if I'm honest. Um, I don't feel that's too crazy. Uh, all right, let's do his A3 because he does do surplus damage. So I want to see if we can kill anyone. And Venus has like the most damage, uh, the most health here. So let's just go it out, see if we can nuke her. 199. I'll be honest, again, it's pretty average. Um, malt. It's pretty average. Like, we've got a lot going on here. We've got defense down, weaken. we got increased attack. And we have bad, uh, bad house buffs. So it's like the only thing I'm missing really is like um, the buffs from... Uh, what's his name? Anyway, let's go and do his A2. See what his A2 is about. Mm. And then. So his A1. So A1 is a double hitter. This is what the ability I do like. I just want to see. Uh, so 70k each. Okay. Not, not too bad. Um, good. Decent A1. Um, but again, slightly disappointed. I do feel a bit more is needed on this kit. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to take him in in the arena a second. I just want to see if we can kill at uh, 230. I think it's like uh, pretty, I think that's god mode or maybe average on his multipliers. I don't feel like they're crazy multipliers, but, you know, we also have blessing as well. So we have extra attack there. Okay, let's go take him into arena and kind of see him. So I don't think he's any good with Kaima. I've done a little bit of testing already. Uh, so yeah, I took him against a Kaima earlier. And to be honest, he resets his own kits if he kills. So uh, just kind of see how he does. We're going to go into quite a few fights here. Uh, we'll try to look for a Rose as well. I think Rose is definitely where he's going to be good against. And then I'll show you his build and masteries and stuff that we went with. So again, we're going to soften up Duchess here. We have no defense down or weaken, so it's just something to bear in mind. Uh, so it's kind of wondering if, if you go with A2 or A3 first. I kind of always like to go with AoEs. But as you can see, like we don't kill a lot of people. So... I feel like right now I've only made them OP because I put them in Necrid. And Necrid is a great champion. Don't get me wrong. So uh, let's see if we can take out Sifi. We do. And there's the surplus damage. So you can see we do get Duchess with the surplus damage there. And then you got the double hitter coming in from the ally attack. And this guy isn't exactly like cracked on gear. So it's like once you get to the top of the plat. Can he do anything at all? In harmony is pointless anyway because our passive. Um, I feel like he's a very average legendary. If I'm honest, I'm not too. I'm a little bit disappointed. A lot of people warned me that he was probably like the worst. Um, out of all the mythicals, I wasn't too sure. Well, we just actually just bolted through here. And then back into the AoE. 
Okay, maybe I was wrong. That went straight for a bolster. Let's try again. Let's see. That just went literally went for a bolster. This is a speed team, so it doesn't really qualify. I should be able to nuke this straight away. Mm. Actually, faster than me as well. Surprisingly, most I'm faster than most people. Okay, so for sure we should nuke this. If we don't nuke this, there's something wrong. So we're gonna go with this A2, right? I kind of like the AOE. Yeah, nuke. Okay. Even so, I can do that with Baron. Uh, let's see if we can find something a bit better. Uh, Warlords. Uh, yeah, there's no damage dealer there. I'm quite low down in the arena, to be honest. Oh, okay. So we have a UDK, Necrid, and Seafian Rhodes. Sea Rose is never easy to kind of uh, deal with. So let's go ahead and kind of deal with this. Um, so his A3 is actually not that good because. UDK is going to stop it here right now. So let's do ally attack into Seafy. Cool, we have Swift Perry. I kind of feel like he needs something as well, like ignore uh, Swift Perry or something like that. We do literally just nuke uh, uh, Necrid there, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's do a A1 there. We get a bit of damage on Rodus there, actually. But uh, then Rodus starts kicking our bomb. Mm. And then I think we'll go take Rodus out here. So we do get Rodus pretty quickly. Mm. But again, they can't use A3 because of UDK, which is the the bomber right but everyone is literally dead except from udk this is gonna take a while because weak affinity uh i'm not too sure if i feel any difference between him and the mythical sorry mythical a uh, legendary i don't think like classic arena is his spot i actually think his spot is more live arena and the reason why i feel like his spot with live arena i feel like that the the passive where he can actually change trans transform and revive your whole team i do feel that that is like a game changer for like a live arena so like utility and stuff like that so uh i'm not too sure if he's gonna be my number one on the live arena list but i'm kind of intrigued to see where we could use him in a live arena or not mm. So again, I mean, these teams are pretty average. Let's see if we can find a few more. Mm, Georgie, I feel like Georgie is much better. I think if you had to, here we go. We've got the Lizardman here. So this should be interesting. Lizardman is a very good mythical for sure. So we got red versus red here. Mm, I'm gonna deal with monkey quite fast. There we are, lovely. Mm. Okay, AOE. We do get a lizard. It's cool. Mm. We do need to do a roast quite quickly, or roast is gonna RP us with here. Hmm. UDK soaked up the first hit. Interesting. Yeah, you'll need the ally attack. I feel like he does do quite well against Rodus. Hmm. Even with the UDK there, if you've got ally attack, he's gonna do quite well. That's a bonus. I think that's um some uh positivity right into his kit. I just really would like to be able to transform him when I want to. Because like right now, if we could transform right now and cleanse Warlord's stun and bring block boss, so that'd be so cool. Just add something like different uh, 
do you think utility you know to him i think like he's more utility as well if he can use this in dungeons and stuff i feel like he would be a great champion for like dungeons and stuff like that if he hits a little bit harder and to be able to transform when heavy he wants not whenever um whenever the ally is dead uh so it's very interesting and okay cool uh i'm not gonna go and take any more teams i don't want to make this like super crazy i just wanted to test him out i feel like he is more of a live arena champion let me go ahead and show you his gear and stats so we do have like savage and cruel we've probably got some of my best uh nuking gear on on this account to be honest the attack is coming in of 7000 attack we have 220 speed i think good speed on him will be key uh, and then we do have 279 critical damage it's a shame really i didn't get the four star blessing because i do feel like the blessing here would be kind of cool um i would recommend i feel for like damage purpose if you wanted more damage into him you're going to take phantom touch uh for the blessing my recommendations for uh the blessings would be lightning cage i just feel like it's really really cool to um just have the chance to stop his like passive being stolen uh with the block buffs or like when you put him bus with him and stuff like that um i feel like he will just be a little bit better and a little bit safer i think for live arena he's kind of cool as well so will i use him yes um i think for me i'll build him for live arena i think i'll build him a bit more speed and i think i'll build him as like a, a second option as a new i think monkey rodas would still be my most desired to but i feel like if i don't if there is a rose against me i feel like it'll be a good spot there and yeah i feel like he does need support i feel he will be a game changer for me maybe in live arena just generally because of the the second form even if i can only do that when everyone's dead so you know a lot of people don't know mythical champions kits wells and stuff like that anyway i'm going to go take him out in live arena where live arena opens and that's going to be in the stream so if you do want to see him in live arena go out and check out my stream grim reaper tv raid let me show you the the masteries that we went with here and let me go turn myself off so um shield breaker for me is key you know people take bolster a lot and stuff like that so for me shield breaker is definitely something you want to be taking uh ruthless ambush or really good damage mastery uh cycle of violence you want him to try and help him cycle through his abilities because again at the end of the day his multipliers are not the best he's not hitting the hardest and stuff like that which is a little bit sad um and to be honest as well like uh, i do like the option of that a1 being a double hitter so i like the retribution would be quite cool and so yeah i don't feel like we did see the full utility from his a1 but i'm not too bothered about his a1 anyway guys um my rating for him it's kind of hard my 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 honestly i would say if you do get him just book out his first form i wouldn't book out his second form if you're just going to use him for that like, classic i don't see a lot of utility for arena why he's booking the second form because we're not able to use it and that's kind of a bit of a bummer because i have booked it uh and stuff like that so I just really wish I could showcase this a bit more, but I would have to kind of let someone kill me or, or something like that, and I'm not able to showcase the second ability. Maybe I will do like a second part to this with um with uh with Live Arena, but overall I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest in his kit. So uh not in his kit, but how that transform works. I think that is a deal breaker for a lot of people for this champion uh and i feel that it's his worst spot so the two things that i would do to fix his kit i'd fix that passive so you can use it anytime once uh and again i would use the i would do the um he needs a buff on multipliers to be honest he needs to hit a little bit harder that's just my opinion anyway down guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think overall i think he's great uh but i don't think he's crazy to be honest uh, i don't think he's broken uh, compared to some of the mythicals and i think he's lacking a little bit because he's mythical if he was a legendary i'd be very happy but he's not he's a mythical anyway guys 
please remember to like comment subscribe this has been a hell of a video hopefully you enjoyed it like i have um i'm going to do some more testing with him see what we can do um again please remember to like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video i've been green reaper see you on the next one peace